fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Here we're at Bodega Bay this morning. We're gonna go out and see if we can find some salmon. I heard the action is red hot, so it has to be hot to get me out here. So we're gonna go out and give it a try and show you guys how to do it. See you in a bit. And the boat ramp took us about a half hour to launch, which is not bad. We attach the dodger or the flasher to the ball. That way there, it doesn't put any drag on your line. So these are what they call a cable baiter or a wire baiter. Pretty much the hook with a wire on it. We're gonna feed through the anchovy. So you're coming through the side, go into the belly. And it's gonna come out right out of the mouth like that. And then you're gonna grab the pin. Stick the pin through the mouth, through that little loop in the, in the cable baiter at the top. And this just keeps the, the mouth closed and the hook from sliding out. And then you get a nice little bend. Nice little bend. Underneath. What does the bend do? The bend's going to cause it to spin. You want a nice tight spin as it goes through the water. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Good thing you went to Alaska. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I thought there's no way that fish was just. Well, we got one. That woke me up. <laughs> I thought for sure that fish was not. <laughs> Why we went around the downrigger line went twice? Downrigger like three times. <laughs> like, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> And then you have the line like that, and he's coming around. Adrian, can you pick, pick up the pole for me? The pole's off my belly. You see him? Yeah. Woo! Good job. Good job. Thank you for the direction. Sam. 
girl. Hey, there ain't no way we're gonna get these damn fish. <laughs> I'm gonna so many fish on a net. How many? How are we getting them on a damn big gaff? Good job. <laughs> Good job, team. They're a handful when it's rough like this. Adrian, did I did do something wrong uh, so here? See all the lines, how it's all stacked yeah. on one side, and how when we were reeling, it was like stuck. Yeah, but that's that's all it is. It's, it's fine because it kept going. Yeah. You know, okay. but sometimes it'll completely lock up, and then you can't reel. How did you fix it? Did you I, just I, push I, it? I was gonna try to lift some line out, you know, but the fish was already at the top. So. Could you tell he was a king already before you saw him come out? Um, it's hard to tell. Really. A lot of the, the silvers, a lot of the times, yeah. they'll start jumping and stuff. They'll go right oh, to the top okay. and start jumping. So they behave differently. A little bit, yeah. Is that a black cod? So they call it a black cod. They call it uh, a hake. No, it's they totally call it, different. Like, a sable fish. I don't know what the real name, proper name for it is, but supposedly they're good eating. They're supposed to be really good. Yeah. You're better at the gas than the net. <laughs> when, we, when you see like when they're just hanging there like that when they're tired, mm -hmm. you just do this. Hold on. And then when they, then if it takes off, you blow the rod. It doesn't happen. Why don't you reel in line? And I'm right at the tree far away. But once you get it close, you can see him. Yeah. No, but why don't you really have line to bring yeah. him up? Yeah, you know, because you get it too close to that swivel. I can see 14 boats. So, well, Adrian, what are you doing now? So, we're gutting them because we leave them in the ice chest with the guts in them. They get a little bit bushy. The meat. So, if you gut them, put them on ice after you bleed them, kind of help the meat stay a little nicer. Did you already bleed that one? Yeah, so I had them sitting in that, cut the gills, I had them sitting in that bucket for a few minutes. And then just cut along the belly and cut his guts out right there at the throat. New York. That's why I don't bear a reel of all up. Take my time. <laughs> It doesn't matter, you can't get three so big. I, I called it, didn't I? You did, I was like, he knows what he's talking about. So many fish just taking our time getting everything back in. What you got? Humongous salmon, last minute guy. All right. Today, we are down in Bodega Bay. Uh, we're out fishing with Adrian, and he, uh, took, he took us out fishing for salmon today. And we had a pretty good day. It was kind of rough and bumpy in the morning, but we ended up catching some nice salmon. And then we caught those other hakes. Uh, but it's a different type of fish. We, had, we got into so many of them, we had to leave. So we went to another spot. Well, we end up catching some, some nice quality salmon, and um, this is time of the year right now to get out here along our coastline. Did you catch them on what work? So we were trolling um, anchovies, and a couple of rods had dodgers on them, but more spinners, but mostly just straight bait. And you just put them behind the downrigger, and they're down about 80 to 100 feet. 
Did they pop up and down regular every time? Uh, no, couple all the early ones that were keepers, I just hardly saw the rod move and jerked it off and fish on. Almost like I was kokanee fishing. <laughs> They're biting really light this morning. So if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And you can also leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Captain Adrian. <laughs> of course. <laughs>